It was a little while back when I was, um, I think I drifted from one Zoom call to the next Zoom call. And I'd been in the call for about five minutes and I wondered, what is this meeting about? And why am I here? I couldn't figure out why I'd been invited or what we were trying to get at. What I do know about the people I work with is that we, we do do things for the right reasons. So there initially there was a right reason, a good reason for having the meeting and pulling together the people that were in the meeting. It wasn't apparent. And sometimes even with the best intentions, the right reasons, the meeting we're in isn't one we should be in or even one should, we should be having. Now during the pandemic, uh, not only are we working longer hours, we're actually spending a lot more time in meetings, in meetings in a virtual framework. So in a, a normal day before the pandemic, you might have four, maybe six meetings in a day. You can have 12 to 14 meetings in this new format. Now, any, in any walk of life, deciding where you put your time will des decide the results you get. And I think a lot of us have slipped into actually just back to back, the next thing, the next thing, not thinking about where does our time go in this new virtual environment. So what we're working with clients on right now is to stop that, that uh, automatic pilot and to start thinking about where time goes and how it's best applied. And to, in some cases, get rid of meetings to reduce by at least 30% the amount of meeting time. Increase and fill that space with both reflection, doing, but also um, time to just connect with people in other mediums, one-to-one. -one. So making sure that you actually build time for actually thinking, doing, and connecting that are not meetings. And the, the third bit is really, if you don't have everybody clear on the purpose, the desired outcome, and the exact right number of people and, and specific people that should be in that meeting don't have the meeting. It looks like most meetings, once you pass about seven participants, start to lose their impact. They're more of a conversation or maybe an information share. But if you're trying to get something done, it's usually seven people or less. So thinking more closely, what are we trying to do here? Who needs to be here? Uh, and if they don't need to be there, don't invite them. Free up their time so they can do other things. Uh, we all need in this new Zoom Teams world, some time to refresh, some time to think, some time to connect when we're not on a screen. Uh, and if somebody gives you that gift, you will take it. They will be grateful to you for giving it to them.